Hey everyone, this is going to be a really quick video to show you the difference between accessing your files using Synology Drive versus using a mapped network drive. So in order to set up this demo, what I did is I set up a testing shared folder. It's just called testing. And then I went into Synology Drive on this PC and I set it up to use it as a team folder. I then went and created a mapped network drive as well. So in the top left, this is going to be the Synology Drive folder. And in the bottom right here, this is going to be the mapped drive. Now, the key difference that I want to point out right off the bat is that when you edit files using a mapped drive, what you're doing is editing the file directly on your Synology NAS. So what that means is that the speed of your network is actually very important because what you're doing is you're editing the file directly on your Synology NAS. So the data is traveling back and forth through that connection from your PC to your Synology NAS. And in that case, Things like 10 gig networking are actually very important, especially when you get to bigger files. If you're interested in editing like video files, for example, the speed of your local network is very important. You would also have to keep in mind any other devices that are accessing your NAS at that point. So to summarize this as best as I can, the thing that you have to understand here is that you're just editing the file directly on your NAS and the local network speeds are very important at that point. For smaller files, you're probably not going to see a difference, but for bigger files, you will. So Synology Drive on Windows 10 is actually very different. And what it does is it stores the file on your local PC when you're editing it, and then it will automatically sync it back to your NAS whenever it's saved or anything changes with it. So what that allows you to do is have the speed of your local PC and your local hard drive, and then when the file's saved, it will sync in the background to your NAS. So as you can see from this test that I'm doing, when I add a file directly to Synology Drive, you're going to see that it's going to show up on your network drive as well. And what it's doing is it's going from your local PC directly to your Synology NAS. Now that little green check mark next to the Synology Drive version shows that that file exists on the local PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that file at this point, and then I'm going to move it directly to the mapped drive. And you'll see in the top left for Synology Drive, what it shows is a little cloud icon. And the reason for that is because the file actually has to be downloaded in order for you to edit it on your local PC. So remember, the way Synology Drive works is it uses your local PC. So what it's going to do is it's going to download the file from your NAS. You're going to edit it, but you're going to be editing it on your local PC. Now to take this one step further, you can imagine if multiple people have to access these files, that you can either map the network drive on everyone's individual PC, or you can use Synology Drive. They both will work. The main key difference here is that Synology Drive has built-in versioning. So at this point, anytime you save the file, it will automatically save a new version, and you're going to be able to go back and restore any of those versions if you ever have to. Now with uh, the network drive, it will kind of have versions, assuming that you set up snapshots. If you set up snapshots, then you'll be able to browse through different versions, but it's not built in. So the key inside of all of this is just to really show you the difference. Now, I'm a huge fan of Synology Drive. It is probably my favorite Synology application. And if you haven't set up Synology Drive, I have a video on how you can. I'll leave a pop-up for that now. But I really wanted to point out the differences because I don't think many people fully understand how Synology Drive works and just how powerful it is. It allows you to use your local PC's resources, your hard drive, etc. And then when you're done, if you don't want to store that file on your PC anymore, you don't have to. You can right click it and click free up space. And at that point, it will remove it from your local PC and it will only exist on your NAS. Overall, it's going to function very, very similarly, but you will have a few performance benefits, especially with bigger files. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.